Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. Today I'm going to show you how to create a animated bacteria cell structure in PowerPoint. So let's see the structure. The first one you can see here the green one which is called the bacterial flagellum or flagella. They are like hair like structures that provides a means of locomotion for those bacteria that have them. They can be found at either or both ends of bacterium or all over its surface. The flagella beat in a propeller like motion to help the bacteria move towards nutrients away from toxic chemicals. The next is capsule. Some species of bacteria have a third protective covering, a capsule made up of polysaccharides or a complex carbohydrates. Capsules play a number of roles, but the most important are to keep the bacterium from dying out and to protect it from engulfing by larger microorganisms. The next is the cell wall. Each bacterium is enclosed by a rigid cell wall composed of peptidoglycan a protein sugar polysaccharide molecule. The wall gives the cell its shapes and surround the cytoplasmic membrane, protecting it from the environment. The next layer is a plasma membrane and then you have something called a cytoplasm. The cytoplasm or protoplasm of bacterial cells is where the functions for cell growth, metabolism and replications are carried out. It is a gel-like matrix composed of water, enzymes, nutrients, weights and gases and contains all structures such as ribosomes, chromosomes and plasmids. Then you have nucleoid. The nucleoid is a region of cytoplasm where the chromosomal DNA is located. It is not a membrane-bound nucleus, but simply an area of the cytoplasm where the strands of DNA are found. And then you have got something a uh, hair-like structure called the pili. Many species of bacteria have pili, small hair-like projections emerging from the outside cell surface. These outgrowths assist the bacteria in attaching to other cells and surfaces such as teeth, intestines and rocks. Without pili, many diseases causing bacteria lose their ability to infect because they are unable to attach to host tissue. Then you have got the plasmid and ribosomes. Ribosomes are microscopic factories found in all cells including bacteria, they translate the genetic code from the molecular language of nucleic acid to that of amino acids. The building blocks of proteins are the molecules that perform all the functions of cells and living organisms. So this is the bacteria cell structure in PowerPoint. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel PowerPoint University and if you like to see more of these kind of uh, diagrams please uh, leave, uh, leave your comments in the comment sections. I will try to make them in PowerPoint. Thank you once again. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.